A notebook by default has pages and sections within it. I have this notebook that I created that has multiple sections and pages. However, I'm going to create a new one too, just so you can see what happens when you, um, I don't want to open that, I want to do a new. So I'm in my OneDrive and I'm just going to create a new one as well. And we'll just call this one Sales 2015. So even when you first create it, right from the beginning, you can see you have section and pages here. And what it's prompting you to do is to begin titling that page here. So I can maybe call this training. This is what I'm going to talk about here. I can add a new section or page by clicking these pluses. So I can click this plus to add a new page. And so maybe this page is called marketing. And then I can add a new section by clicking this plus here and I can make a new section and I can call it, um, I'm just gonna call it Carlos. This is somebody that I'm working with and he's gonna work on this section. I could always right click on anything to, whoops, let me go back up here. Let me try here, let's see why that's not working. You could right click, there we go, rename. I'm not sure why that one's not working, so we'll do it here. So you can right click on anything to rename, delete, change the color of the section or pages as well. So I can change the color by right clicking, giving it a new section color. I can give it no color. People just like that to be able to um, sort of organize it. And maybe these two go together. So I'll make both of them red. And then maybe these two are related. So I can make both of those the same color as well. As well. Maybe I'll make them both right click and I can make them green for organization. So you can right click and you can choose to rename. So I have this called image library. I'm gonna right click on it and say, maybe I just wanna call it images. Take off the library and I can rename it as well. Okay, remember you're always saving in the cloud so sometimes you might have a little delay. You might see that sometimes while I'm working because it's saving it all the time. So sections here, pages here. Pages go within sections, and you'll get used to that pretty quickly once you start working with it. You can always add a new section or a new page. So I can add that new section, and we'll call this one training. And now I have these pages. And you can see that sometimes you can just start typing over here. So I'll, I'll say maybe training meeting is set for Monday or whatever note I want to take. This is an untitled page because this is either here or here is where it wants me to title it, but sometimes, you know, people don't always title them. You want to make sure you try to do it. So maybe this one, this section is about, uh, this page is going to be about something else. And I can realize, oh, I didn't ever, you know, give it a title. So I can either type it up here, so maybe this is meeting notes, or I could do it here by right clicking. Oh, nope, you have to do it up there. You can't right click on that one. You can right click on these and choose rename. So you have to type it right there. And you'll see the date and time underneath, which is really useful so that if you're collaborating with other people and someone added a page and you think, well, what, what Monday are they talking about? When did they add this? Oh, they added this you know, on August 8th. So you can go ahead and add yours as well. So maybe this will be called, um, that was called meeting notes. Maybe this is going to be called you know, sales notes or whatever you're calling them. So that's how you add sections and pages. You go ahead and hit that plus and you've got your new page there and you've got your sections here. You can also um, rearrange the order. So if I want curriculum samples to go down there, you can see I can click and drag. So when you click and start dragging, you can see a little preview there. Um, I'm gonna right click and rename that because it looked like I have an extra M there. There we go. So you can see that as well. So sections and pages, that's what makes up all of your OneNote content. And once you sort of get used to that, you'll, you can see people have really good organization when they make these. They might have multiple pages within sections or some people might just have one section and lots of pages. Your choice on how to organize it, but keep in mind that you do have those options. You have the section and you also have the pages. So however you choose to organize it. And again, if it's a new one as well, you can you know, keep adding your sections and pages to a new one. Or if it's an existing one that you're working on with someone else, you could say, oh, you know what? I see that they put a sample from Word and Excel book. I'm going to go ahead and add sample from PowerPoint. 
and I would go ahead and add my sample in there. And if I ever needed to delete the page as well, I could right click and delete. I can also add a new page here. I can increase the indent, which can show that this actually falls underneath that if I needed to, or decrease it, just to give it a sort of outline look as well. I could show versions, or I can copy a link to this page and email it to someone. Show versions would show you the different versions. I just created that one, so there's probably not gonna be one there, but maybe this one might have it. You can see there's only one version from this one. Um, I might have one on this. Let's see if I have versions. Yeah, Ethan Kane worked on this. So he co-authored with me. We worked on this together. And you can see that there's different versions as well. So you can right click and get some different options. You can see you can add a new page or new section from those as well. So you do have the right click available to you. So don't forget to try it and use it. You can always um, rely on that to sometimes do what you need to do. You can even copy as well with the right click. So those are your sections and pages within OneNote Online.